So, this is another quick video about Virtual D-Day 2023 and a new option that's been added to the STEMS engine in the latest release, which is built 7482 at the time of this recording. And that is STEMS GPU. So, what's that all about? Well, right now, where I'm recording this video, I'm on a pretty slow old computer. So, uh, when I load a track here, you can say in the STEMS tree, it says STEMS fast, and it's computing the STEMS. And that's pretty fast because about now it's ready to go. So I can play the track and I can remove some of the stems if I like. But you can also hear there's quite a few artifacts and you can also read it here. That's because it's the old reduced quality 1.0 stems that I'm running. And why is that? Well, that's because I've said it to do that because this laptop is too slow to handle the stems 2.0 in real time. So if I go into so options here and performance, I'm going to say it says reduced quality. But it also has this new feature called STEMS GPU. So uh, let me try that. Uh, maybe I can uh, use one of my GPUs and it'll help. So I'm going to tell this to go to always. So it's forcing uh, it to go for uh, STEMS 2.0 in any way it can. So uh, no fallback. And then I uh, say, well, I do indeed want to try using my GPU. And I want to select the TPU. And this NVIDIA Quattro M6020, M6 that sounds great. So I'm going to try that one. And then it'll tell you that you need to restart Virtual D Day. So let me do that. So let's shut down this. Restart the laptop. Oh, sorry, uh, Virtual D Day. Now I have the new setting ready here. So always and try using this uh, NVIDIA Quattro. So I'll load the track, and you will say it tries computing the stems, and I can try playing it. And you can actually see it's suffering with the graphics, and it's actually saying start stems engine, even though it's already started. And I can try doing this, and it doesn't work at all. And why, why is all this happening? Well, let's look into the options again. So obviously, this didn't work. It didn't remove the drums. So none of this was working. And we didn't get the tick. It's still not working, even after now it's working. But it'll probably stop working in a few seconds. Now it's not working anymore. So it's trying. So it's like it was trying and still trying. And then it restarted the engine. And then it kind of worked. But in the beginning, it didn't work at all. So let's see what the options says now. So I'm looking into the options. And it's still set to NVIDIA Quattro M60, but the don't use TPU has been set again. And that's simply Virtual DJ. I tried this, and that went horribly wrong, and then it switched back to using the CPU again, which is pretty bad, but eventually does some uh, STEMS 2.0 separation. So this was definitely not a good option, and uh, the one that's currently running is not a good option at all either, because you saw how little it could actually do. But that was another GPU, so let's try that one. And then we need to set this to, and then we need to restart Virtual DJ again, like it says. So I'm just going to restart the software. Check the settings just to make sure. So now we are using the GPU, and we are on the Intel HD Graphics P60. So will that work nicely? So I load the same track. And it starts computing the stems. And we try removing the drums. And it doesn't work at all. Because it's not ready. Because this GPU doesn't work either. So back to the uh, options we go. And now we just simply have to realize that no, we can't choose this stuff. We can set this back to automatic. Yes, we'll restart in a second. And then set this back to reduce quality. And now, and then, might as well click the don't use TPU because Virtual DA will figure that out anyway. Of course, I can, uh, if I want 2.0, I can use prepared stems. So, uh, stems that's saved maybe in the folder, maybe right next to the tracks. And that can use 2.0 if you let it calculate it um, beforehand. So, the separation is done before the gig, right? But for live stem separation, that's just not going to fly on this laptop. 
even though I can now tell it which GPU I wanted to try. So I really just need to stay on reduced quality. But if you're in a laptop that has multiple GPUs like this one, and you feel that one of the GPUs aren't being used correctly, and you want it specifically to tell which DJ to try using that GPU, you can now do that with the new Stims GPU setting.